Welcome back, fellow Rustations. In this video, we're going to dive deep into the world of the Rust programming language, and we will explore the fundamental building blocks that any Rust program should have. Functions. So, grab your favorite drink, sit back, and let's get started. Functions in Rust serve as the backbone of code organization and reusability, so let's begin by understanding how to define a function. In Rust, we use the keyword fn followed by the function name. Let's take a look at this very quick example that we'll have here. So, we'll at first delete the default function here. Let us start and define a function that prints some number to the screen, easy as that. So, we'll do fn as the keyword for a function definition then the name of the function, show number, and then in parentheses we'll have the parameters that the function will take. In this case I'm going to have one parameter called num, and it is of type i32. Then we will open some curly braces, and we'll have the function body right here. And just to keep it simple now, we'll just use a print statement. Print line of, and then let's say number is and curly braces, and we'll insert num here. Easy as that. So of course, we should now also use our function, because otherwise we wouldn't need to define it. So we'll just call that in the main function, show number, and in this case, we're just gonna pass three. And as you can see, this thing compiles, and we can run it. Hitting this button is just the same as doing cargo run, and we will see number is three, just as we expected. So now, to make things a bit more interesting, we will define a second function that takes two input parameters and will return an output parameter. So let's call this one add numbers. And in here we'll take two numbers, I'll just call the first one a, and this can be a signed 32-bit integer again. And the second one is going to be b, also an i32. And in order to tell Rust what the function will return, we'll have this arrow here. And we will just give the return type, which will also be an i32. And now let's just build the sum of those two values. Let sum is equal to a plus b. And we will return sum. Easy as that. And we can just call it from the main function, for example, in a print statement. So print line, and we'll say sum of 4 and 5 is. And we will directly call the function here add numbers 4 and 5. And we should see that this code runs perfectly. Sum of 4 and 5 is 9, as expected. Now, this works, and this probably looks a lot like other programming languages, for example C or C++, but we can make this a bit neater. So let's create another function, fn add numbers shorter. And we will take the same input parameters, a and b, and we will also return a 32-bit signed integer. But this time I'm going to try to be more idiomatic in Rust. So what this means is we can just write a plus b and no semicolon here. So what this will do is the last statement that you have in a function, which is not terminated by a semicolon, will automatically be returned. So instead of writing return a plus b, we can just as well write a plus b here and get rid of the return and the semicolon. And also, of course, it's not really necessary to save our result in an extra variable like sum. And to show you that this works, we will just copy this print statement. Let's say we have 7 and 9 here. And we use our add numbers shorter, 7 and 9. And let's just run that. And we'll see 7 plus 9 is 16, just as expected. And there you have it. Pretty quick video, but now we've covered the basics of defining, invoking and returning values from functions in Rust. And as I said, functions play a crucial role in code organization and encapsulation, and it enables us to write modular and reusable code, which we will always be doing in Rust. So I hope this video provided you with a solid understanding of functions in Rust. 
As always, remember to experiment, explore and have fun while coding. If you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more Rust-related content. Until next time, stay comfy!